Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, just a little quick video here. I had posted there, you know, quite a bit of time back. I had the Sega 12 and was going to do a little work to it and uh, haven't really had time to do any work to it yet. Just kind of getting started on it. Uh, just one thing real quick that I did want to show you guys uh, uh, is the uh, SMG Tactical 12 round mags. They're actually made by Surefire. Uh, probably the most dependable magazines, single stack that you can get for the Segas. Uh, they say they're second to none. They even advertise them on their website. I got these through Carolina Shooter Supply. Now the reason why I hadn't bought any yet is because like I said, I hadn't hadn't done any stuff to my Sega yet besides the regular stuff. And uh, But I'm fixing to jump into it now. I'll tell you a few things I'm going to do so you can know what's upcoming videos. But uh, anyways, i seen these mags going for $150 a piece when all the crap was going on. It's still going on. And I thought, you know, I'm not going to do it. I've seen them before it happened. I've seen them for 40 bucks. You know, they were, I thought they were expensive then. But uh, anyways, got on Carolina Shooter Supply. They keep all kinds of stuff for these guns. And uh, they had a big stock of them come in here. They had the uh, 8 rounds, 10 rounds, 12 rounds. They had all kinds of stuff for them. So I ordered two of them, and they were $44 a piece, I think it was, $44, $40, something like that, which was regular price they usually go for. And like I said, they're made by Surefire. They go by SGM Tactical. And uh, as far as single stack uh, mags go for these, they're probably the best you can get for your Sega 12. Now, what I plan on doing is uh, here next month, I'm going to order the uh, the trigger guard and the conversion kit, I'm going to, well it ain't a kit, I'm just going to have to get the parts, they're out of the kits, but you can buy it piece by piece. I'm going to move the trigger on up right there, and I'm going to put a, possibly an AR pistol grip on it. I'm uh, going to take the Tapco stock off of it, cut the tang off of it. Either going to put one of the Ace side folding stocks, or the Ace uh, side folding mil spec tube conversion kit that you can put the mil spec uh, AR tube on it and then put Magpul and stuff like that on it which is what I might run so I can run Magpul grip and uh, Magpul stock or AR grip, AR stock, whatever I want to put on it. Uh, then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I don't know what rail I'm going to put on it, I don't think I'm going to put a rail, I think I'm going to put one of their round style four ends on it that you can bolt the Picatinny pieces to. Uh, I'm going to put a reliability kit in it. Uh, so it helps a little bit on cycling low brass. It cycles all right now. It does pretty decent, but I'm going to get one to try it out. Uh, second, the barrel on a shotgun has to be 18 inches in length is uh, what's legal. Well, what I plan to do this is I'm going to order a brake that I want. And then when I get the brake that I want, I'm going to measure it down and I'm going to cut my barrel and I'm going to permanently attach my brake so that mine's 18 and a quarter or 18 and a half, which I've already seen done and uh, it shortens it up a bunch and it looks really really nice because I'm not ever going to take the break at the end off of it I don't worry about that so uh, they make a tool that after you saw it off it's got an alignment tool that goes in there and then you put the drill on it and you can uh, you can look on Black Rifle AR-15 channel he's got one and uh, you can straighten up the end of the barrel which perfectly squares it up and fixes the end of it and then uh, Carolina Shooter Supply has the tap that has the guide that goes down the barrel and then you put the tap on the end and you can put the threads and re-thread it back down on it which is no problem at all so I'm going to get both those tools I don't have them in yet but I'm uh, going to do that and then I'm just going to put the reliability kit in it and see how it cycles and if she don't cycle right which the guys that I've seen that done his that way his is doing just fine with the, the kit and stuff but if not I'll open the gas up on it just a little bit and change it a little bit shouldn't be a problem and then after all that's said and done, uh, then I'm going to Duracoat it. I'm going to put a Krebs Safety and stuff like that on it. Uh, I'm going to Duracoat it all up, put me my own camo job on it and stuff. And maybe a Burris Fast Fire or some sort of a little tiny red dot on top of it for a sight. And uh, also would like to put the HK style sights on it. Whether or not I do or not, I've not made up my mind because I'm going to put the dot on it. But... Uh, Anyways, uh, like I said, these magazines are great. I shot this one. I haven't opened that one up. Not going to worry about it. I'm just going to throw it over there and keep it new, keep it in the box, and just shoot this one right now. But uh, that's it. Surefire uh, Tactical Mags. They're S uh, SMG Tactical, and they come from Carolina Shooter Supplies. So uh, give them a look, guys, if you got any Sega stuff like that. And 
and if you want to see what I do to this gun and, and see it over the next couple of months, it'll probably be over the next couple of months that I get it all done piece by piece that I can afford it. But uh, I'm going to deck my Sega out, something I've been putting off. And like I said, you guys keep an eye on this barrel because like I said, once I shorten it and permanently attach that brake, um, you guys will like it. Matter of fact, go to Tiborosaurus Rex, his site, uh, Rex Reviews, and check out his. And he's done his that way. And guys, I'm telling you, for one, it takes forever to get a short barreled uh, shotgun set up through troll mix or something. They're three years backlogged or something. I do like the short, short barrel, and they have to shorten the gas system and all. There's a lot to it, and then all that paperwork and all that weight. And as of right now, I'm not going to. And I like, uh, if you look at his at the, the 18 and a half inches pin, or I don't know if his is pinned and welded, but it's permanently affixed. If you look at his, it's still really short gun for the size it is, and it's legal, no paperwork. Uh, and it runs flawlessly. So give him a, a give him a check out there and, and see what you think. And uh, keep an eye on my channel, and uh, you'll see the stuff I do to my Sega. Thanks, guys.